So the second part of this um, set of video tutorials uh, from unit one on files, we're going to look at some basic file operations uh, using uh, this special type of variable, which is a, a file variable. Um, and so when you're wanting to work with a file, there are basically three operations or three types of operations you're going to do. The first thing you need to go and do is you need to open the file. So that's the thing that's going to create this special file variable. And it's also going to tell the computing operating system to connect that to the actual data file on the hard disk of your computer or whatever resource it is that you're accessing um, with this file variable. So the first thing you have to do is you have to open the file. Um, after that, uh, you're going to be reading or writing to the file. So that's the bit where you're actually transferring data from your Python code and storing it on the computer or else um, transferring it on, on, in the file on the computer's hard disk or else transferring it from the computer's hard disk uh, into your Python program. And then once you've finished working with the file, you need to close it. And that's where you're telling the operating system of your computer that you're done working with this file. And so it can go and clean up any of the temporary resources it's used to access that file. Um, so that might include, for example, stopping other programs from accessing the file because you're busy writing to it. Um, and so if you don't close it, then nobody else can do anything with that file. Um, uh, and this is particularly, gets particularly important to say if you are writing data, because in actual fact, when you tell the computer to write data to a file, it doesn't immediately go away and write that information onto the hard disk. It usually stores it in memory for a bit until it's got a big chunk of data to write to the hard disk, because then it can write it all in one go. The problem is that if you don't close the file and then your program just stops, you don't know whether or not the computer's actually got around to writing the data to the, to the, into the hard disk or not. The act of closing the file, one of the things it's telling the computer to go and do is, OK, you can go off and write anything else that's been left hanging around now. Um, so if you don't close your pro files properly, you can end up with um, losing your data. The other problem, even if you're just reading a file, if you keep opening more and more and more files and never closing them, eventually your computer gives up and says, I can't cope with having any more files open at the same time because I can't keep track of them. You run out of memory. Um, and that, again, is a, is a particular problem. So um, it's very important to make sure that you actually go and close your files. And we'll come back uh, to that in a bit as well. OK, so it's simple to go and use these, these sorts of operations. So here's how you might go about doing it. So um, you could use the open function to open a particular file. So in this case, we are opening a file on the disk that's in the current directory, in the same directory as we're, we're working in, which is called data.txt. Um, and the R in quotes as the second parameter for the open function is telling Python we just want to go and read that file. Um, so one thing I should say is it's important to go and um, pass the correct file name to um, Python when you come to read it. And one of the things, particularly on Windows, um, uh, that has got a nasty habit of doing is trying to make you pretend that the the, the .txt or the extension on the file doesn't really exist. Uh, and so there are actually settings in the File Explorer in Windows that deliberately go and hide those extensions. The problem is if you don't include the extension in the file name when you try and open it, it just says, I can't find that file. Um, uh, and so that's just one of these little things about working with Windows that you, you need to learn um, that to, to watch out for. Um, if you're in either a Jupyter Notebook or uh, in Spider, you can just type ls, um, which stands for list, um, into the console or into a, a cell and evaluate it. And it will go away and give you a listing of the current directory. And that listing will have all the proper extensions on it. OK, so what we've done here is we've opened the file and we've created this file variable and we've assigned it the name my file. So now we can do um, so I'm going to go and read the contents of that file. So that's done with my file dot read. Um, and if I don't give it any parameters, it just goes away and reads the entire file. Um, so that's what I've done here and I've printed it out. And then once we're done with it, we have to close it. And we can just do my file dot close. Um, and then after we've closed it, we can double check whether we did or we didn't manage to close it properly because files also have a dot closed um, uh, parameter uh, um, property. 
you can check. In this case, it says, yes, you did actually close the file. Once you've closed that file, you've essentially disconnected it from the, the actual thing that's stored on your hard disk. So that means you can no longer read or write to it because the operating system can say, well, yeah, OK, it's a file, but you've, you've closed it. You're not, it's not attached to the, to the thing in the operating system. Um, but the variable carries on existing, um, uh, but you can't really do very much with it. So as I said, one of the, the problems is that you, you really want to uh, make sure that you do always go and close your files properly. And not only because um, if you're writing to a file, then you might not be able to have anything else read at the same time. Um, but even if all you're doing is just reading files, um, you always want to tr distrust whether files are going to carry on existing properly, because you never know when somebody might come along and try and delete the file from underneath you when you're trying to read it. So as a general rule, what you want to go and do is make sure that you have your file open for the shortest period of time that you need it to be open for. Um, so if you're doing lots of reads to, to and from a file, then you, know, you don't really want to have to keep on opening it and closing it and opening it and closing it. But um, if you can, try and do all your file reading in one go, and then you can close the file straight away. And likewise, if you're writing the file, try and do all the writing in one go immediately after you've opened it and then close it properly and make sure that you've closed it properly. Um, so one of, the, one of the problems is that if Python has a crash in the middle while the file's open, the file doesn't necessarily get closed. But because there's a, because it's so important to make sure that things like files do get closed properly, Python provides you a, a rather nice way of going to do that. And this is a, a with statement, which isn't we didn't really cover so much in computing one. Um, so um, a with statement is something in, in the Python world is called a context, context handler. But what that basically means is that it understands that um, it's got a, a phase where it's going to say create uh, your variable or open your file. And then you're going to be doing something um, with that, that resource or that file that you've, you've, you're working with. And then you want to stop working with it. And it provides a way of automatically saying, OK, let's clean up um, uh, now we're done with it, or in our case, close the file. So this is what a with statement is going to look like in this context. So this code is doing exactly the same thing as we did before. It's going to open the file, it's going to read it. So you see on that first line there, we have the with, and then open, the same open command, and then as, and the variable name we're going to end up creating. And by using this syntax, we're saying to Python, OK, um, this is my file is going to be the thing I've created with the open, and I'm going to want you to pay attention when we stop doing stuff with it. And you see it's got a colon at the end of it, which means that it's going to identify a block of code afterwards. So the lines that follow that with are all indented. And what that means is that all of those indented lines are going to operate whilst that file is open. And then when you cease indenting, um, what's going to happen is we're going to say, OK, we've, we're finished with that file now. The with is finished with. And the with takes care of closing the file for you. Uh, so what you can see is that um, here I've um, opened the file. I've read all the file contents. I then just check whether the file is open. Uh, well, I check whether it's closed. And you can see that the first of all tells me that um, my file is um, uh, is not closed, so it's open. Um, I then go and read all that data I, I just read it, just read from the file. Sorry, print all the data I just read from the file. And then I go and show that my file has been closed. So you see that second print where it says, is my file open? It now says false, meaning it, it is now closed. Um, so you see the, the file has been closed for me, even though I never did file.close. So I don't need to remember to do file.close if I use the with. Um, so this is just summarizing this, but the important thing is it does not matter how I left that block of lines that were in that were indented after the width. It doesn't matter if I left it normally or if I left it with an error or I left it because I hit return out of a function. No matter how I get out of it, that file is going to get closed automatically. So that's the real advantage of, of using the with statement. Uh, and so what I really want to just go and give the message here is that the using a with statement for working with files is the preferred way of dealing with this. 
So you shouldn't really be doing my file equals open. That's the wrong thing to do. You should do it with a with statement because that way you always guarantee your file gets closed properly. 